Hey guys, Faisal here. Welcome back to another video of developing a Clash of Clans WhatsApp bot using Node.js. Now in the previous episode we set up Node.js, put Visual Studio Code and set up the packages that we needed. In this one we're going to set up the actual WhatsApp bot, write some code and make it respond to us when we talk in the chat. Now before we do that, real quickly, I've noticed a typo here. I typed skips instead of scripts. So add an R there, so it says scripts. And they've actually updated WhatsApp WebJS since the other day. So what we're gonna do is yarn remove WhatsApp dash web dot JS. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. So yarn add whatsapp web.js and this will take a few uh, minutes or so so i'm just going to pause and we'll come back okay so now the packages have downloaded let's go ahead and on the left there's a button that says new file click that and you have to type index.js reason being is if you look in our package.json file we'll have a property called main and it connects to index.js that's the file we're going to use to start up our Node.js server. If you've called this something else, then the file needs to be that name. We've got index.js. Let's go ahead and bring in a few things such as our QR code. So QR code is what's going to allow us to authenticate to WhatsApp. So a QR code terminal. And then we're going to bring our client and our local auth from WhatsApp. So the client is what we're going to use to actually initialize our WhatsApp session. And the local auth is what's going to provide authentication to that session. So now let's do const WhatsApp equal to new client. And we're going to provide some options. So this option is going to specify our auth strategy. That is new local auth. Like that and then we'll initialize WhatsApp and now we're going to add three uh, listeners uh, event listeners let's do WhatsApp the first one is WhatsApp dot on QR <coughs> so once we've run the Node.js server WhatsApp will send a QR code to authenticate with uh, since we set up an all strategy we should only need to do that once so we'll do QR code dot generate QR and provide us some options to make sure that the QR code can fit in our terminal nicely. Now the next event listener is our ready. So once the bot is actually ready, what, what it's going to do afterwards, for this case, we're just going to console the log saying WhatsApp bot ready. And then one more listener, our last one. And this is the message. So once a message comes in, we can listen to it and do something to it. In this case, we're going to be responding to it. For now, what we'll do is just console.log the message dot body. Uh, the body is the actual message coming in. The message is the object which has everything part of that message. So let's save that. Keep the terminal a little bit big and let's do yarn dev. Now go grab your second phone, open up WhatsApp, go to settings and click uh, link devices and click link a device. Oh, come on, dev not found. Let's have a look. What is that? All right, this still says skip. So change that to scripts if you haven't already. And let's run that again. Now, as you can see, it's generated a file, this or rather folder. This folder will host your authentication and it's just locally done for the time being. Take a few seconds to load up. Yep, so now scan your QR code.
Okay, now you can see WhatsApp bot is ready. So let's actually have a look at WhatsApp. And let's do some testing. So type hello. If I open up the Visual Studio code, you can see it says hello in terminal. So that's the message I entered. Now that's all well and good. Um, just before we make any changes to the code, on your WhatsApp where you link devices, you'll see Google Chrome Mac OS. At the bottom, it would have said syncing. Wait, do not close the app until synced. Make sure it says active before you change the code. Because if it doesn't say active and you shut the code down or shut the server down, then you'll have to scan the QR code again. So now let's make some changes. What we're going to do is WhatsApp dot send message. And we're going to say message dot from so the place the message came from if it was a group chat or a private chat and then the body of the message will say hey i'm i am a bot like that save that now it shouldn't send another qr code it should just say whatsapp ready once it's ready And it can take a little bit longer because what it's actually doing is checking for the authentication this time and trying to authorize automatically. Okay, now that's ready. Let's uh, go back to WhatsApp and let's type something. Say hello. And there you go, it said, hey, I am a bot. So that's our WhatsApp bot setup. Very basic, but you can imagine the things you can do by just listening from the message coming in. And in the next episode, we're going to actually do implement the Clash of Clans side and start responding to specific commands and sending data. So thanks for watching, guys.